Hey everyone, welcome back to Cherry Tree High Comedy Club. I'm Solon, this is Rainy Day Let's Play. And this should be our last section, I believe. I'm gonna try to push to uh, finish this tonight. So we're still embodying the essence of Miley. And it's been a while since I've recorded, so I'm gonna see if I can remember all my voices and whatever the heck I've been doing with this wacky Let's Play. Um, so where are we at with our targets? Target is at max. Uh, I have no idea what max is. I've, if three isn't max, I'd assume five? That makes sense. Maybe four is max. So uh, we can try to push with Sarah, May, Cindy. Or we can try to get Vivian and Tyler up to two, because perhaps three is a threshold for being the best of friends. Not really exactly sure how it works. It uh, purposely did not tell me what the end goal or, or what the uh, what the levels necessarily mean. Maybe Harriet can help. So the stalker was Tyler Perez. I don't know him really, but I hear he knows a lot of the girls at school. He knows a lot of the girls at school. He is a gossip machine. <laughs> like, like the Terminator, but for gossip. Um... Yeah, so, oh, let me check my calendar. We are on the, what day is it today? Not the 29th. It's the 11th, sorry. Uh, Friday the 11th, it's in the top left. It's hiding underneath my face. So let's, uh, what will you do in bed? What do we always do in bed? Actually, I don't know. Uh, oh, we should call someone. Let's not, let's not waste any effort. Call a friend. Have a little phone call. Mmm, I like Vivian way more than Tyler. I'm not sure if calling, like, our level 3 people has had much effect on any of them. We were pushing for Sarah, I remember now. So, let's see if we can get Sarah up to the fourth level. Oh, it's Saturday, we don't have school today. So Saturday 12th looks like we have about two and a half weeks left, so... Our work is cut out for us, that's like the second half of the game at this point. Um, actually, let's... Whoopsies. Let's see if there's anyone... Oh, May's around here. How's it going, May? Last night I stayed up all night watching cartoons again. You really do love your cartoons, May. It's a wonder you can tell the difference between the real world and cartoons. I feel like that's something she would be saying to herself, almost. Maybe she's vicariously living through May. Maybe she's, maybe that's like the pecking order. She puts down May where other people put her down and makes her feel better. I don't, I don't know. Here you uh, go off adventuring by yourself. It's pretty impressive. Yup, I go here and there and meet a lot of lovely ladies doing it. <laughs> Catch him off guard. Beat him at his own game. Not gonna talk to Ollie or Mikey because I can't put friendship coins into them. So they're not even worth my time. All right, so we've got Cindy here. Feel stiff. I need to get some exercise. Did you stop doing Taekwondo? Yeah, I can't afford the club fees. I do still practice, though. Hey, you should go challenge our school judo club guys to a fight. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'll think about it. I, I was joking, you know. <laughs> nah, she's just going to fight people. Let me at them. Where are they? Take them all down. Hey! Marion's here. Oh, right, she's here on the weekends, and we can do our, uh, we can make some money here. American provides excellent vegetarian options. Uh, the thing is, we haven't used money for anything. I mean, we're just working on making friends at this point. Although, maybe I need to get my skills up in talking points at this point. Hmm. Oh, let's check on the Campbell residence, see if there's not anything out there. We've still got number six to look out for. Wherever. What are you doing out here? Hello, Miley. Good day. We don't have professional wrestling like you have in America. The wrestling is so exciting and there's so much drama. 
You know it's not real, right? They do have professional wrestling in Europe. It's very big there. <laughs> but it's okay. I, I won't fault them on that. At least I feel like. I mean, maybe Sweden's a little too far. I know France definitely has a huge professional wrestling league. Uh, people just hanging out in Cherry Hill Park. Picking up dog poo like we do. That's how Miley spends her Saturdays. I think we've been everywhere except center of town and the school district. Okay, there's Sarah. <laughs> Double dog poo. You. <laughs> Question mark face. I knew if we were persistent enough we'd get him. Hmm. Let's chat with Curtis. Oh, I, we're just going, we're going right in there. We just dove right in. We got him to question mark face, seal the deal. Get him, Miley. Last we meet, Curtis Campbell. Why did you call me out here? And aren't you Miley Verice? Bingo! Glad to see you know my name. I've heard about you. They say you climb Mount Everest, and you keep a wild beast in your dorm, and you're actually over 30 years old. I'm pretty sure those are all rumors I started. She started them about herself. That's Miley! Anyway, what do you want? I don't really want anything, wink, per se. I was just wondering if you know Stan the Comedy Man. Interrobang? Well, what about him? Oh, nothing. I just saw him on TV recently is all. You watch that sort of stuff? I thought only old people watched his act. Comedy is comedy. I can't say I watch him all that often, but it's still great stuff. I really admire his talent. You, you admire him? What's, what's there to admire? I don't get it. So you watch his stuff too? Uh, no, I, I just know about him. Is that so? Well, I'm a comparative comedy Padawan, but he's very funny. That much I do know. Dot, dot, dot face. This is getting intimate. But how can you stand to listen to him? His material's all really old. There are loads of younger comedians around with fresher stuff than that old man has. That may be true, but I wasn't talking about his act. I was talking about him. I mean, he broke the ground for a lot of what we see in today's comedy. That's pretty amazing. This is the... The first time in the whole game that Miley is actually talking comedy craft with someone in a very serious way. I'm not sure how to feel about this, actually. <laughs> this is this is like actual, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just interesting hearing her decide to push all of her shop talk into Curtis, who she has just met. Also because she's too afraid to actually talk to Stan the Comedy Man. So... Instead, she confides in Curtis and cannot talk to Stan herself. Hmm, interesting. Have you ever wanted to know what makes people laugh and then actually use it on people? <laughs> like, she's just, oh, she's so socially manipulative. She's just like, I want to say something funny and then make you feel like laughing. The power inside. Not really. I don't see how it has anything to do with me. Just not a funny guy. I, I don't know why we'd get him in his comedy club if he's not a funny guy. Doesn't. So you're not interested at all? Not even a tiny bit? No, not even a tiny bit. Dead end! Pack it up! Go! We're going home! I think we're done here. Have a good one. Oh, he's repressing it! Ooh, that was a sharp exit. Mm-hmm. Miley's got his number. Hopefully, literally. Either way, metaphorically, we've got his number. Okay. Target for recruitment. It's a start. Now let's start harassing him on the streets. Where is he? Sarah, where did you put him? What do you got? Hi, Miley. Today I found a book I'd been wanting to read for ages in the library. Really? Life is peachy for you. 
<laughs> yeah, she doesn't care about books. We still have uh, whodunits we can talk about with Sarah. I think we have a little bit in fashion. I think we could talk to Sarah about fashion. Okay, neutral. And nothing from it. I hope I'm not wasting all my time trying to push these threes to fours. Dog, tell me your secrets. How do I get into the Sarah? I need to pick her brain. No, no, we'll just talk to the dog. What's the scoop today, Harriet? That's the same thing you said yesterday. They said it changes daily. Okay, so we've got a new, new victim. Confused, I guess. <laughs> gotta get those digits on Curtis. We've got all six. This is exciting. Uh, let's hit up Vivian. Hey, girl, hey. Sunday, let us not waste a bit of our weekend. To the Vivian Mobile. Oh, actually, what's up, Curtis? Could talk video games. Who done it? Bet Curtis is a mystery man. Though I've never hit the chit chat button. I wonder if it's a freebie like in Bingo. Hmm. I feel like it is a freebie, like it's just neutral every time. But yeah, that's not gonna we're gonna need something big if we wanna hit that hard. It's great that May graduated to high school this year. Now all of our neighborhood gang is in high school. Yes, all of the victims are in the same grade. You know, what we don't know about, uh, what's his name? This new cat on the streets. Tyler. Looking for Blondie. What we don't know about this new guy is if he's actually in a club or not. <laughs> we never, we never confirmed that. Empty bottle. We could do all of this work to like get his number and make his acquaintance and do all this crap and just to find out oh I, he's already in the club awkward oh hey we don't have our fatigue anymore where the do oh you know what we last saw her at prosperity shrine she's probably still there how did you get over here dang it maybe in front of the dorms she does you know live there now Shiny. Not poo poo this time. Huh. She's nowhere to be found. School? It's the only place we haven't looked. Nothing in the bookshelf anymore. That's. Oh, what have we missed? No. Okay, then I guess let's see if we can. We'll try again with Curtis. We're just gonna we're gonna keep harassing him until he is uh, he gives us his phone number. It's probably into romance. That's what it's all about. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's chit chat. See if we can find anything out about him. I'm looking for someone to play chess with. <laughs> How about a game of chat of catch instead? Uh, that sounds like games, but video games is not necessarily the same as chess. Maybe politics, but maybe whodunits, hmm, it could even be sports. Just it's not cooking, we know it's not cooking. I just want someone to like whodunits. Ha! <laughs> Curtis likes whodunits, I've got him hook and sinker, yes! I'm just happy I finally, finally found someone to confide in my, the only thing I'm good at, whodunits. Whoa! What's going on? Everyone's just chilling. Someone didn't kidnap Dina, right? Of course not. 
I had everyone meet here because I have to tell you something important. You all need to learn an important lesson. Life is more than just fun and games. To mature into an adult, you need to go through both good times and bad. Dina is here to give us the bad times. And for that to happen, we must put you all in cages. Into the basement now. What are you getting at? We're playing a game. It's called Survivor. It's not like the one on TV, though. We're gonna survive. What I'm trying to say is, no dinner tonight. <laughs> Why? I told you, this is an important lesson. Harry, it's not gonna like that. Wait, ho hold on. I saw you go to the racetrack today. You didn't bet our number on unlucky number 13 again. Oh, <laughs> Dina. Well, see you in the morning. Can't anyone just be responsible in this game for like five seconds? We're getting coupon Italian. Ah, oh, crap. That's not good. <laughs> Uh, I actually, I have money for this, so let's get a pizza. Are, are we eating, are we doing this? Guys, my fatigue level has decreased. I, I guess if I went, if I cheaped out, probably nothing would have happened, and I didn't have any fatigue anyway, so I'm just not working hard enough. If I can just friggin' find Vivian. Let's call Tyler. <laughs>